So we'll start, Mel, with the Giants, who continue to spend big this offseason. The latest move was a four-year, $72 million contract for a wide receiver, Kenny Galladay. I don't think that wide receiver – actually, you know what? There were those that thought that the Giants could be in play for a Jalen Waddle at pick 11 if he fell there. Has this eliminated wide receiver from the Giants' needs now, Mel? Well, I think from the 11th pick, where now they – and I think they had, had the feel that 11, you're not getting Jalen Waddle, Devontae mm, Smith, Mark Chase, or Kyle Pitts. You're not getting any of those guys at pick number 11. And now I think the attention turns to a complimentary pass rusher to help out Leonard Williams. And that could be Quiddy Pay from Michigan at pick number 11. Uh, the other pass rushers bring with them some question marks. We could argue Jalen Phillips is the best pure pass rusher, but he's got the durability concern. Uh, you know, Gregory Rousseau only had one year of product, uh, productivity sack-wise at Miami. Quiddy Pay is a talented kid. And as I said, from a, an outside perspective, knowing what the Giants have on defense, that's exactly what they need, especially after adding a Dory Jackson at cornerback. You don't have to look at a Patrick Sertan or a Caleb Farley now with the, the back procedure uh, from Virginia Tech or a J.C. Horn. So I thought Quiddy Pay. Some people may say it's a reach, Todd Field. I really, at the end of the day, don't think so. I think 11 for a pass rusher with that kind of skill set and that kind of attitude and that kind of approach uh, wouldn't be a, a reach at that point. Yeah, I like his tape. I, I'm, you know, we've talked a lot about Greg Rousseau and coming out of Miami, who had the opt-out year, but 15 and a half sacks going back to 2019. Talked a lot about Jalen Phillips and what he did this past year. And he's a really good player as well coming out of, coming out of Miami. And I thought he had a great 2020 season and really helped his stock. But when I put on the tape, Quiddy Pay is different. He has suddenness and twitchiness that some of these other guys don't have. And I know his, his, his stats weren't exceptional, but he is constantly disrupting. And the other thing I love about him, you got to have this as a defensive end or a pass rusher, the motor. He flies around the field. He plays sideline to sideline. He will chase you down from behind. And he's got explosive workout numbers as well. So I don't think it's that big of a reach. I think at some point, you know, after 10, we're going to see the, the defensive end, the edge rushers start to come off the board. So I, that didn't shock me. But the other thing I'll say, though, going back to just the Giants in, in general, Daniel Jones no longer has excuses. You've mm. got one of the best running backs in all in the entire NFL. And you, you bring in Galladay, who's a big physical receiver. You've got Ingram at tight end. You've got Slayton, Shepard. Uh, Rudolph as well, a, a tight end of the, uh, that they brought in. I mean, this there's a lot of weapons now around that quarterback position. Yeah, and they well, have to get them. Go ahead, man. If they just feel, if they just, I mean, Ingram's got to eliminate the drops. He cost them the yes. Eagles game with a drop. He had other drops during the year that were significantly uh, important to the outcome of that football game and what was going on in that game. They got to keep Saquon healthy. The offensive line's got to get better, which means Andrew Thomas has to improve. Here, we'll see what happens with Nate Solder coming off after uh, opting out this year uh, with COVID. Uh, and then, obviously, uh, you know, Daniel Jones in year three doing what Josh Allen did with the Buffalo Bills now that he has these weapons like Kenny Galladay who also has to stay healthy. So I think we'll expect the same improvement that we saw with Josh Allen from year two to three that we'll maybe see, because we saw improvement with Daniel Jones from year one to two. He cut down on the fumbles, the turnovers. Now he needs it. Until he got hurt, he was playing really well late in the year. So now if he takes that next, next step, he's got the pressure to become what Josh Allen was in Buffalo. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.